Hello, we are pleased to welcome Alan Mayers from Microsoft and Haider Mohamed from Ysoft in today's episode of Ysoft TV. Our topic today is moving print to the cloud with universal print. And I don't think that anyone would argue that print service is one of the last business processes that we are moving to the cloud. Of course, driven by cost and IT resources. Um, but what do you see specifically, Alan, with uh, with print print services moving to the cloud? Yeah, when we started out, and thanks, by the way, Walter, for inviting us to uh, another session of Ysoft uh, TV. So when we started working on universal print a few years ago, uh, the biggest hurdle for our customers was to move to the cloud as they were moving everything to the cloud. They also wanted to eliminate their uh, print servers. Obviously, I'm working from home today, and you are, and uh, many people are working from home or in a hybrid situation, uh, some days at work, some days at home. And printing is very important uh, process for uh, for a lot of them still. And so it, this is now accelerating. We see a lot of customers uh, that are moving accelerated to the cloud uh, because of the uh, COVID situation. And so they are accelerating their move to the cloud too uh, with universal print. Yeah, thanks, Alan. Thanks for um, shedding some light on that. Um, what I find is uh, print services are often treated as some isolated business processes, but in fact, it's not because it's integrated with uh, many other systems. So what we need to realize is uh, it can be integrated with some like something like document repositories, CRMs and ERP systems. And for anyone who wants to move to move to cloud, our only series, um, which is using the universal print, is a very, very cost-effective and a secure solution. And for our customers who are using SafeQ and cloud solutions, integrating with the Microsoft Universal Print enables secure printing, um, reporting, and many other amazing capabilities. Um, either way, uh, whether you use cloud or whether you use on-prem, a uh, customer can use existing printers with Ysoft solutions for Universal Print today. So you guys mentioned security. So I want to talk about that for a minute. We hear a lot about zero trust network. So, so what does it mean, Alan, when we talk about zero trust network and, and cloud printing with universal print? Yeah, that's an important aspect. So um, as our customers have a lot of, of people working from home and accessing business critical data and business processes and printing them uh, in forms and what have you, uh, it's important for uh, our enterprise and mid-market customers and education customers to know what's happening with this data. Employees are accessing the network from non-trusted networks, from zero trusted networks, if you want that are their home Wi-Fi or uh, their home internet access, uh, etc. It's no longer predictable where uh, um, uh, employees, etc., are accessing the network. And so being able to move printing out of your um, uh, on-premises network with an Active Directory and being able to move it into the cloud with Azure Active Directory, uh, protecting all the data between the, the user, the client PC and the cloud and the cloud and the printer uh, with encryption, making sure these documents are safely and securely and compliantly stored in a Microsoft 365 cloud gives our customers more trust that their data is handled well, even in a print process. Thank you, uh, Alan and Walter, for touching on this subject of zero trust networking. Um, when I actually see customers, when I go out, every single day, the zero trust network security is uh, brought up brought up uh, as, a, as a main subject. Now, what I'd like to highlight is both our Omni series and safety solutions um, are built on the zero trust network. Omni series can pull a print job from Universal Print Service and send it right to the printer. In addition to that, what I'd like to touch on is uh, often print jobs are treated critical sometimes. So Ysoft, uh, the Omni series can provide load balancing, failover, so the users never experience delay uh, waiting for the print job. And this is all done within the customer secure network. So 
I know that both, uh, both of uh, our companies are working uh, very hard towards general availability of universal print. But Alan, what, what can viewers do to get involved now? So today, Universal Print, as, my, as part of Microsoft 365, is in a public preview. Uh, it's a feature complete, if you want, and it's fully supported by our support organization. Uh, all customers that have a Microsoft 365 subscription that supports Universal Print can enable it today to give it a try and roll it out within their organization. To find out uh, if you have the right subscription and how to do that, you can go to uh, aka.ms slash up underscore try now. Um, on the website, we'll explain you step-by-step -step how to enable universal print and join thousands of customers that are already using it today. So once you have the subscription, what Alan has mentioned, um, one, if you'd like to sign up for Universal Print uh, for cloud-based printing on their existing printers with OmniSeries, you can go to wisoft.com forward slash OmniSeries. And anyone who's interested in print management with SafeQ can also sign up on wisoft.com forward slash SafeQUP. I'll be thrilled to have you on board. Thanks, thanks. So, and, and as Wisoft, we, we already posted some articles on the Microsoft uh, Universal Print tag block. And if you want to read those, you go to aka.ms uh, slash up underscore partners. So guys, this is it for episode uh, 29 of Wisoft TV. And we were talking about moving to the cloud with printing with universal print. Thanks, Alan, for being on this uh, episode. Thanks, Walter, for having me. And thanks, Ider all the way from Australia to be in our Wise of TV episode around cloud printing. Glad to be here. Thank you, Walter and Alan.